thanks everyone for watching. I need new subscribers uh, to keep on going. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Please also hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment down below. And you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed the show. Welcome back to the Art Project. Thanks to all of my new subscribers. I am really hoping to make it worth your while. Uh, my art students are doing wood block prints. I cut up some plywood scrap that I had laying around for them to use. It was extremely hard for them to cut. There was some blood, but everyone survived and somehow got good prints from the experience. We soon bailed on the plywood, though, and I gave them soft cut. They were able to make great prints from the soft cut in a single class period. If you are doing this in a school setting, I highly recommend the soft cut. You can get it online at dickblick.com. Also buy a large box of band-aids from amazon.com. Stay tuned till the end for the final result. If you want a print of the chickadee, send me an email or Facebook message. Thanks. I was trying to decide whether I should make the videos really fast or not. I decided to go ahead and make them uh, close to normal speed so that you could see everything that happens. Or, if you want to watch them at super speed, you can go down to the bottom right hand corner of your YouTube video, click on the settings button, and you can uh, turn the speed up to whatever speed you like. Uh, I recommend watching uh, videos at two times their normal speed. A lot of times but if you want to watch all of this and not miss out on anything uh, watch it at the slow speed you have that option You may be wondering why somebody would go to all of this trouble uh, to to do this uh, if you're not familiar with block printing. Uh, the reason is because after I have created this um, block print, I can print it as many times as I want to and create you know thousands of copies if I want it. And if I can print thousands of copies of it, uh, I can sell the copies at a much uh, less expensive cost to the buyer. So instead of doing a painting and selling it for $200, I could do 20 of these prints and sell them for $10, uh, which makes it more affordable for just about anybody.
about to do a print, so I have to put some ink on the block. Uh, you first have to roll it out nice and smooth on a piece of plexiglass. Uh, if you'll make a rolling motion up and down and side to side, it will help spread the ink. You don't want to print onto the block or roll it onto the block until you have uh, consistent ink. Once you do, you can roll it onto the block nice and uh, gently. You don't want to press down too hard and get ink in the low spots. You just want it to go across the surface. Be very gentle there. Then take a piece of paper and place it centered onto the block print. Press it down and take a barren, or you can use a spoon, or you can simply use your fingers, but spread it and push it down as hard as you can uh, to get a good print all the way around. And then you can peel it up a little bit at a time and check it. But in this picture, in this uh, video, I just peeled it straight up. And here is my final result. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. If you enjoyed it, please hit like. Please leave a comment down below. And uh, let me know if there's anything uh, you think I should do differently or uh, constructive criticism. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you'd like a copy of this, send me an email.